Okay, this video is going to be about powering Star Trek ornaments. It's going to be a long and boring video, so I warn you of that right now. Um, but I thought I'd lay this, uh, this uh, 100 bulb string out on this board so that I could get a good feel for how it's going to, uh, how I'm going to get all of these ornaments powered. Um, this is the layout of the wiring diagram. It's only showing six here, but there's really 50 per circuit. And I just wanted to get show you the concept that I was going to use or that I did use to add the bulbs to the circuit. So the first thing I did was measure across just one bulb. And uh, that came out to be around 2.1 or 2.2 volts. And I just stuck a pin through the insulation and hooked it up to my voltage meter. And it fluctuated, but it, it turned... Uh, turned out to be about 1.2. And then when I added an ornament, it depended upon the ornament, but um, it would drop. So I would put in some shorts. So I would short out some bulbs until it went back up to the target voltage. So here's the um, shorted bulb, uh, the end result. And uh, here's me, you know, like what I did to make the shorted bulb. So first thing you do is you pull the a, you know, the regular bulb out. And then I have uh, some wire that is, you know, doesn't have insulation on it. And I put it you know, into the, uh, the socket that I just, uh, that I just took the bulb out of. And uh, get this wire strung through there. It's, it's a little, well, it's more than a little tedious to do these. This was the by far the thing that took the longest is making each one of these little shorts because I had to make quite a few of them. Turns out that um, I would be, I would add an ornament and then I would have to short out maybe, I don't really know, maybe sometimes as many as five, but oftentimes three um, bulbs until I got back to the 1.2, um, or I sorry, 2.2 volts or so, 2.1 or 2.2 volts. So anyway, that's the shorted um, socket. So I would replace that. So here is um, my labeling. I decided that I was going to put it back exactly like I had it because I know it would work right and there wouldn't be any over or under uh, voltages. And I put the year on there. Um, one thing that I had to do, and this is showing going to a, a separate, uh, the other 50 string, uh, 50 light string, I had to put these Klingons over on their own circuit because this thing acted much weird, much weirder than when I added uh, those t most typical ornaments. Each one, like I said, it went from like 2.2 volts down to uh, maybe 1.7, and and then I would do a few shorts. And but when I put this Klingon one in there, it went crazy. So I just put it on its own string. So anyway, this is the 91, the original Hallmark ornament for the. Uh, old Star Trek uh, Enterprise, and I'm just going to go down the line here and show you in order, except for this one. This one's not in order because it's on the other string, but in order of um, year of release, these are all the ornaments. Most of them are ships, of course, but then they came out with some other different ones, some quite interesting ones. Um, Borg 2, Delta Flyer, and the Scorpion card in there <laughs> and uh, Vulcan command ship uh, city on the edge of forever and and lastly the uh, the board queen which is a talking one so I'm going to demonstrate all the talking ones here for you
notions, if I'm correct. I had to repair that one, by the way. I'm going to make another video on the repair for that new capacitor. This is Captain Janeway of the Federation vessel Delta Flyer. We are on a mission of peaceful exploration. So uh, that's it. Uh, uh, demonstration of plugged into a single cord. And there's, I put them all back in the boxes. Hopefully when I plug them all in, they'll work again next year. Um, I was thinking about leaving them plugged in to the string and just dropping them into a box, but I put them all back in their original box. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, hopefully we're not too bored. <laughs>